Great. Marilyn, I need a little bit more passion, huh? A little more heat. Talk to Bill. You can't get heat from an old furnace. Well, this old furnace was biting necks while you were still in diapers. Stop it, Fang. Stop it, Fang. What does that mean? Stop it, Fang, oh, huh? Right. Okay. You two, time out. Take a break, please, while we set up for Marilyn's close-up. Funky to hear. Mr. Shane. Hi. Hi. I've got some more posters for you to sign. Oh, so the last batch sold out. In three days. Good. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you what? Attention, everybody! Everybody, may I have your attention? Mr. Barnett has an announcement to make. I just want you to all know that I not only closed the European deal for Kiss of the Vampire 2, but I wrapped up the financing for Kiss of the Vampire 3. Which means all vacations are canceled. We start filming two days after we wrap this production. Oh, what is this, a movie studio or a rest home? Get back to work, all of you. Uh, Leo. May I? How's it going, Jason? Well, we're right on schedule. Let me give a word of advice, kid. There's no point being on schedule if you don't shoot what you're supposed to shoot. What are you talking about? Marilyn's nude scene. I looked at the dailies. Where is it? Marilyn and I both felt uncomfortable about her doing it. Oh, really? Well, this is my studio. And if I want her buck naked, that's how you'll direct her. And if you're uncomfortable with that, well, then maybe I'll find another director who isn't. Now, shoot the nude scene, kid. Okay. Dinner reservations tonight at 8 at Christus. Got some people who want to meet you. Leah, well, I'm really sick of you dangling me like bait in front of your investors. I'm not doing it anymore. Wear the red dress. And don't be late. And I'm really sick of your threats. I mean it, Leah. Leave me alone or I'm going to kill you. Don't make me laugh. It's not good for my hernia. It isn't my precious daughter. Hello, Father. Still angry at me, huh? No. After 11 years of therapy, I've gotten over my anger. Now I just hate you. Come on, stick around, sweetheart. You can hate me over lunch. I'd rather starve. Cardio. I can't do the uh, sequel right away. I told you, Coppola wants me for his next project. It's my big break. Sure, I understand. You'd much rather work on a Francis Coppola film than another one of my crappy horror flicks. Well, can you blame me? Oh, not at all. And I'd let you out. If you hadn't signed that ironclad contract, postpone the sequel reel. Or else. Nice try, Billy boy. But you don't even scare me in dailies. You've got a, a 12 o'clock with the marketing people, Mr. Barnett, and a 2 o'clock screening, which leaves us open for a private meeting at 1, Leo. Cancel it. You and I have had one private meeting too many. Hey, Pops. Payroll told me you need a little advance. Take care of your wife's surgery. That's right, Mr. Barnett. Well, forget it. What the hell, you think I'm made of money? <laughs> 